Hey what's up everyone, Ryan here coming at you again with a new series I'm going to start calling What's Happening. This one is Mac Edition. I'm going to be going over a few apps that I'm running currently on my MacBook Pro laptop. Today I'm going to be covering a few utilities apps that I use pretty much every day. These apps are definitely some of the better ones that I have on my laptop and I think that you should start using them as well. So let's get started. First one that I want to go over is called App Cleaner. This is an app that allows you to delete other apps. If you have something like Spotify, I don't know why you want to delete Spotify, but Spotify has lots of other associated data along with it. You can bring Spotify into there and it finds eight related files that were essentially going along with Spotify. You have the cache and stuff like that. There's additional content, not just the app, that might not be deleted otherwise if you were to just drag Spotify into the trash. So that's App Cleaner. Definitely a great app if you're trying to delete some things, trying to save some space. So you can get App Cleaner from their website, freemacsoft slash app cleaner up here, or you can go over to CNET, which is where I like to get mine f apps from uh, that are not in the App Store. It's CNET more secure, and you just download it from here. Again, this app is called App Cleaner. The next app I want to go over is Better Snap Tool. This is basically the snap feature in Windows that allows you to snap left and right, as seen here shows up with this little box and then you let go and it snaps it like that. This is different because you can do corners, you can also do to the top, you can double click to full screen and it's very cool, very nice app, uh, something that Apple should definitely include in their OS's. This is available in the App Store. Go to Better Snap Tool. I've already downloaded it and right here. So as shown here you can snap multiple ways into corners and into half the screen. And then there's also this little preferences guide where you can change up some of the features. You can snap to the top, left. You have this menu bar icon that you can have at the top here. On and off. I prefer to have it off. There's also different customizations. You can do different colors, keyboard shortcuts. There are different areas, as I said earlier. You can do long and skinny, or you can do these little square boxes. And it's definitely very, very nice to have along with the rest of the features in Mac OS Lion that I'm running here. So that is better snap tool. Next, we're gonna be going over C Cleaner. Now this is an app that was first on Windows, very great app for cleaning up your hard drive, getting rid of some of those unneeded programs and unneeded caches, unneeded files that are just kind of filling up your Mac, also on Windows as I said. So here's the app interface, you just click analyze, it goes through, I actually just did this this morning, so still have about a quarter of a gigabyte here to be removed. It's just mainly Safari internet caches, system trash, which I have some stuff in the trash, and other things like that. This one as well is available in the Mac App Store, so you can go back into there and get CCleaner. So there you go, pick it up from here, allows you to clean up and restore some needed space that you might have lost over the months and years that you've had your laptop. Next one, this is a very lightweight app, very simple, but it's also very useful. You have coconut battery. As you can tell, I've just started charging my battery and currently not charging because I have a lot of stuff going on. But this allows you to see your battery's capacity, current charge, see how much power you're using, see the temperature of the battery, uh, how many cycles you've gone through. And the biggest thing that I like to look at is the battery capacity. As many of you probably know, the batteries on these 
laptops lithium ion do deplete over time you can do some charging cycles doing um, to recalibrate them a little bit but generally they will fade off you can see here over time started out in March here's January 96 percent February March going down and today it's at 94 percent it does fluctuate a little bit but using this app I have been able to prolong the life of my battery as you can tell my Mac is 14 months old and it's still at 94 percent hopefully it'll stay that way for a while because I do like having a full charge on my battery actually be a full charge I want to show you where you can get coconut battery that is on the internet not on the Mac App Store they do have a bit of a ripoff version of coconut battery on there which you can get from the Mac App Store but as I started using this one I will show you how to get this coconut battery you can get it from the developers website coconutflavor.com or as I said before you can go to cnet.com and download more securely as I prefer to do so now we can go on to the last app Quicksilver this is an app that will make your life so much easier all you do it kind of replaces spotlight so with spotlight you know you can search for iTunes and it'll come up iTunes and all of your songs and everything or you can come back and search for Word Microsoft Word or you can search for a file you could search for Quicksilver if you wanted to in spotlight QuickTime player is the top hit because it's Apple Quicksilver is also an application the same function that this spotlight provides but Quicksilver adds some extras so all you need to do is hit command space brings up Quicksilver right here you type in CH Chrome it's ready to come up it also shows down further you can go to chess messages if you wanted to find something along the lines of AppCleaner as we just talked about type that in and you end up just hit enter when you're ready and there it is this is very useful for launching apps as you can tell other than the ones I'm running now with the little lights underneath I don't really have many apps in my dock that's because I hit command space and just launch the apps from there type it in you can also search for files and stuff as I said before so Quicksilver there is the guide where you can do preferences different triggers there are also different plugins that are very useful. I have some plugins for Gmail, for Firefox, for Mail installed, but there's also so many more uses for Quicksilver that I am not even taking advantage of. You can play around with that and definitely look into checking that out as it's very useful and allows very optimal use of your Mac in a quick time. Ha, <laughs> quick time. So that's it. Just wanted to go over a few apps, utilities that I use very often. They're very useful apps and can definitely help you improve your computing experience, improve your computer's performance, and improve your efficiency while on the computer. Again, I'm Ryan. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya.